up, y'all? This is Rockley, and today on Passport Kings, we're gonna go over the ins and outs of hanging out in Jamaica. Engage. Guess who's back? Passport Kings. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. I was recently in Key West for the weekend, and if you've never visited, I suggest you do. And although it was an excellent time, there was one thing missing, other black people. There was some, but any establishment we went into, being the only black folks, felt a little uncomfortable. I remember saying to myself that this place would be so fly if more of us traveled and enjoyed the beautiful scenery that Key West, Florida has to offer. Next up on my bucket list was going to Jamaica, and Jamaica answered all of those prayers. Flying into Montego Bay and chilling with folks who are also on the plane headed there, I knew things would be different. The vibe was right. There would be no one judging our behavior because they all looked just like us and were coming for the same reasons we were. And that was to have an excellent carefree time. Out of all of the options available in Montego Bay, I decided on staying at Ibero Star Resorts. Ibero Star Grand Hotel Rose Hall is an all-inclusive resort. All meals, including specialty restaurants, and room service, drinks, including top shelf liquor, and non-motorized water sports were included. We have free access to all restaurants, pools, beaches, and amenities. The waiters are cool, and they don't judge your drinking habits. They had a cool nightclub that was open every night, and an excellent buffet that was open every morning for breakfast. If you ever ate any exotic foods for breakfast, this place was serving it, and it was delicious. They also had brunch, lunch, and dinner. Of course, in the US, all you ever hear is, if you're going to one of those resorts in Jamaica, you better stay behind the resort's walls because you'll get jacked up without the hotel's protection. And being that I've never been here before, I was on high alert. And I kept in mind that there is a travel alert this year in Jamaica warning of increasing violence. They say that the violence will usually not touch the tourist areas, but for the more adventurous of us, just to be aware of our surroundings and try to travel with friends and don't drink too much when outside of the walls. They make it sound like the walkers from The Walking Dead will be out there. But on my way to the resort, I realized I didn't have cash to pay the driver. So I had him stop at the ATM, and guess what? The other people out there were friendly as hell and normal. I don't know how many times I have to say this, but humans are just humans. I also went to an outside shopping area on one of the days that I was there, and I didn't feel any kind of animosity. The beef that Jamaicans have with Americans and Europeans is not with people who look like me. They just had to fight very hard for their independence and they're making sure no one comes to take it back. But like I said, that beef is not with me or with people that look like me. Jamaica in general has an average high of 35 degrees year round and typically has a wet and dry climate. The wet season runs from May to November, with the hurricane season starting in September. U.S. dollars are used by most vendors on the island. Bring small bills if you plan on visiting small shops, like $1 bills and $5 bills, and that's for tips as well. The Jamaican money is about one to a thousand. So if someone says the price of something is $5,000, know that they're talking about Jamaican dollars, and it means that it's around five bucks in USD. The sunshine and glimmering beaches summons travelers to Jamaica all year, offering a chance to experience the Caribbean with only a short flight from the east coast of the U.S. The small country has remarkably warm weather and has an easygoing vibe. Great for those hoping to spend time escaping from the stress of daily life in these big cities. There are several ways to enjoy time here, from the quiet resorts to the bustling nightlife in the cities. The women are beautiful and richly melanated. They're very accommodating as long as you treat them right. The dudes make you wanna hit the gym as soon as you get home. It's obvious that Stella ain't the only chick that ever came here to get her groove back. You just got the, the cool ass dudes that just be coming through. Like this guy right here? Yeah. What's up, man? What's your name, man? Miguel. Miguel, what's up, man? Macaroni. Hey, say, Macaroni. Oh, Macaroni. I've been hearing about you over the last week. Everything good. Yeah. And look at the, look at the hot ass, the shirt. The hot fucking vest right here. 
And then when you say something to the dude, it's not like no no beef, no trouble, no nothing. He's just cool as fuck, man. Right? Cool. cool. I'm cool like in the winter. You working? I work here six days a week. Right. One day off. 14 hours. And yo, if your name happens to be like Stella or something, and you want to come to Jamaica and get your groove on, macaroni. This macaroni will. He will cheese your pasta. That's what he'll do. <laughs> Every time. Macaroni. We, we give the guests the best treatment uh. of their life. <laughs> Our guests didn't pick up their money from off the floor. No. It's their hard working money. Okay? So we treat them with the best. Best. Yeah. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> you get he said it. When, when they say all inclusive, they mean all, all inclusive. Total. Total. <laughs> the total package. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Check out Ibero Star in Montego Bay. White sandy beaches and great beach excursions are the main draw. Some of the people look like they don't want to be bothered, but you will be amazed at how quick they warm up to you after you say what's up to them. I learned that the response to someone saying thank you is yeah man. A lot of them will tell you that once you come to Jamaica, you become an unofficial citizen. When in stores, they'll tell you the price, but then ensure you that if you keep smiling, the price will keep going down, and it did. Most of the all-inclusive resorts here like Secrets and Hotel Ryu are adults only, so check out your amenities before booking. Kingston is the capital of Jamaica and the largest city in the Caribbean, located on the southeastern coast. If the city life is more your speed, then this is the place to be. The city is filled with restaurants and bars. Opportunities abound to take tours or visit the Bob Marley Museum. Negril on the western coast is known for its water sports and nightlife. Many of the beach resorts run along the Seven Mile Beach. The beaches in Negril have consistently been rated within the top 10 in the world. There's plenty to do here from rock climbing to scuba diving, so pace yourself. My next trip is to DR next month, so stay tuned to Passport Kings on YouTube. But as soon as I get a chance, I'm heading back to Jamaica to try the other resorts and take longer tours around the island. The people were just so friendly and made me feel so welcome. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and check me out on Instagram where I'll leave all my vacation pictures. So come here to Jamaica by yourself or with your sweetheart and in return Jamaica will welcome you like a king of Passport King. Peace.